Did you know that most people are using artificial intelligence like vending machines? We've all heard it. Artificial intelligence is the future. But what if we told you that the future is already here and you're probably not using it to its full potential? You see, most people use AI like a vending machine, putting in simple commands and waiting for the perfect expected outcome. But what if we told you that you could get so much more from AI? In fact, if you learn and apply what we are going to show you in this video, you will gain a huge advantage over most people. Without further ado, let's dive in. Part 1. AI as a Vending Machine You know how sometimes when you're hungry or thirsty, you walk up to a vending machine and just blindly choose whatever looks good. Well, that's kind of how some people are using AI these days. They're treating it like a vending machine. They input some data and expect the AI to spit out a perfect solution without any thought or effort on their part. But here's the thing. AI is not a magic vending machine that can solve all of our problems. It's a complex technology that requires human understanding, expertise, and oversight to be used effectively. For example, let's take ChatGPT, the AI language model that most of us are familiar with. Many people use ChatGPT as a vending machine to generate text for them without really understanding how it works or its limitations. They input a prompt and expect ChatGPT to generate a coherent and accurate response without any further thought or effort. But the truth is, ChatGPT is not infallible. It can generate inaccurate or biased responses if the input data is flawed or if it's being used in a way that doesn't take into account its limitations. The same goes for other AI systems, such as those that generate art like Midjourney or Stable Diffusion. While these systems can create stunning visuals, they are not a substitute for human creativity or artistic skill. They are simply tools that can be used to augment and enhance our own abilities. Part 2. The Science Behind AI a simplified explanation. Have you ever wondered how AI actually works? Well, it's not as complicated as you might think. At its most basic level, AI is a computer program that can learn and make decisions based on data it has been trained on. Let's say you want to create an AI program that can identify cats in photos. First, you would need to train the AI on a large data set of photos that are labeled as either containing cats or not containing cats. The AI would then use this data to identify patterns and features that are common to cat photos, such as pointy ears, whiskers, and a tail. Once the AI has been trained, you could give it a new photo, and it would be able to determine whether or not it contains a cat. This process is called inference, and it's what allows AI to make decisions based on the data it has learned from. But here's the thing. AI is only as good as the data it has been trained on. If the dataset is biased or incomplete, the AI will also be biased or incomplete. For example, if the dataset used to train an AI for facial recognition is made up primarily of photos of white men, the AI is more likely to have trouble recognizing faces that belong to women or people of color. This is why it's so important to use AI in conjunction with human oversight and intervention. We need to make sure that the data being used to train AI is diverse, representative, and unbiased. We also need to be aware of the limitations of AI and not rely on it blindly without questioning its decisions or assumptions. Part 3. The immense potential of AI. What we're missing out on. AI has the potential to revolutionize almost every aspect of our lives. From healthcare to education, transportation to entertainment, there are countless ways in which AI can be used to make our world a better place. But here's the thing. If we treat AI like a vending machine and don't use it in the right way, we're missing out on all of these potential benefits. We're limiting ourselves and our productivity. Think about it. If you're using AI to generate text or make decisions without any human oversight, you're missing out on the opportunity to use your own expertise and intuition to make those decisions even better. But if you use AI in conjunction with your own knowledge and experience, you can achieve incredible things. For example, doctors can use AI to analyze medical images 
and diagnose diseases with greater accuracy, but they still need to use their own judgment to determine the best treatment plan for their patients. In the same way, business professionals can use AI to analyze data and make predictions, but they still need to use their own expertise to make strategic decisions that will drive their company forward. By treating AI as a tool to augment and enhance our own abilities, we can achieve so much more than we ever could by relying on AI alone. We can 10x our productivity and make a real impact in our respective fields. Part 4. What is Prompt Engineering? Introduction to the concept. Now that we've covered the basics of how AI works and its immense potential, let's talk about a concept that can help us use AI more effectively, prompt engineering. Prompt engineering is the process of creating effective prompts or inputs that help guide AI towards producing the desired output. It's like giving AI a nudge in the right direction so it can generate more accurate or useful results. Let's take ChatGPT as an example. When you input a prompt into ChatGPT, the quality of the output depends on the quality of the prompt. If the prompt is vague or incomplete, the output will likely be nonsensical or inaccurate. But if the prompt is well-crafted and specific, the output can be incredibly useful and informative. This is where prompt engineering comes in. By crafting effective prompts that provide the right context and information, we can guide AI towards generating more accurate and useful results. For example, if you want ChatGPT to generate a summary of a news article, you could input a prompt that includes the title of the article, the author, and a brief description of the content. This would give ChatGPT the information it needs to generate a coherent and accurate summary. Similarly, Midjourney, a software that generates art, can benefit from prompt engineering. By providing specific guidelines and parameters for the art to be generated, the software can create stunning visuals that match the intended aesthetic. Prompt engineering is an important concept to keep in mind when using AI, as it can significantly improve the quality of the output. By giving AI the right guidance, we can make sure it's generating the results we want, rather than relying on luck or chance. Part 5. Practical Applications and Benefits of Using AI the Right Way Now that we've talked about prompt engineering, let's explore some practical applications and benefits of using AI the right way. As we've discussed, treating AI like a vending machine can lead to inaccurate or incomplete results, but by using prompt engineering and human oversight, we can achieve amazing things. Let's take ChatGPT as an example again. If you were to input a prompt into ChatGPT without any thought or effort, the output might be nonsensical or irrelevant to your needs. But if you were to use prompt engineering and craft a well-thought-out prompt that provides the necessary context and information, the output can be incredibly useful. For example, let's say you want to generate a product description for an online store. Without prompt engineering, you might input a vague prompt like, write a product description. But with prompt engineering, you could provide specific details about the product, such as its features, benefits, and target audience. This would give ChatGPT the guidance it needs to generate a compelling and accurate product description. The same goes for other AI applications. By using prompt engineering and human oversight, we can ensure that AI is generating accurate and useful results. In healthcare, AI can be used to analyze medical images and help diagnose diseases, but only if the AI is trained on diverse and representative datasets and used in conjunction with human expertise. In business, AI can be used to analyze data and make predictions, but only if the data is clean and unbiased and the AI is used to augment human decision-making, not replace it entirely. By using AI in the right way, we can achieve incredible results and make a real impact in our respective fields. We can 10x our productivity and achieve things that would have been impossible without AI. Part 6. The Power of Asking the Right Questions How Effective Prompts Can Make AI More Beneficial In the previous parts of this video, 
We've talked about the dangers of treating AI like a vending machine and the importance of using AI in the right way with prompt engineering and human oversight. But there's one more thing we need to discuss, the power of asking the right questions. As we've discussed, the quality of the output from an AI system like ChatGPT or Midjourney depends heavily on the quality of the input or prompt. If the prompt is too vague or broad, the output might be irrelevant or nonsensical. But if the prompt is specific and well-crafted, the output can be incredibly useful and accurate. This is why it's so important to ask the right questions and provide the right guidance when using AI. By being as specific as possible in your prompts, you can train the AI to give you the right answers and make better decisions. If you have made it this far, we really appreciate your support. Comment down below with the word 100% so we know that you watched the entire video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.